All right, guys, I will be using this turkey neck here. They're not real fat. I like them nice and small like this. I've already cut some. Just want to give you an idea of how I cut them because they are long and the bones are kind of hard. So it's going to be kind of difficult for you to try to go down like this to cut them. So what I do is just place my knife to whatever size I want them to be. Then I have a little small hammer. It's going to make some noise, guys. And I just hit it like that, cracking the bone. And then I cut it into small pieces. And then I go ahead and place it in my um, bowl. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just cut the rest of them up. Then I'll come back and show you what I do next. All right, guys. I washed our turkey neck um, with fresh lime, vinegar, and salt. So it's nice and clean. At this time, I will add some of my non-MSG Maggie. Go ahead and take that off like that. And then I will add some of our it piece on there. I'm gonna put a little bit more itchy, just a little, like that. Not much turkey neck. This is just for my husband and my son. I will be eating something totally different today. I'm gonna add my fresh parsley. I'm gonna add some fresh thyme. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in some black pepper. I'm gonna add some fresh garlic well not fresh garlic but um powder garlic but it is organic and all the seasonings i use are no msg so i'm adding a little bit of seasoned salt just a little bit like that a little bit more not gonna hurt then our adobo no msg i'm gonna add some like that and then you have to add back some of your acid. So I'm gonna squeeze just a little bit of lime juice back in. That's perfect. And then what we're gonna do now is just go ahead and just make sure everything, let me just use my hands because I don't wanna make too much noise. And my hands are clean, guys guys and also before i use anything i usually wash them off camera if i don't wash them on camera just know and believe that they are washed okay so you can go ahead and use whatever seasoning you like so i'm going to use these seasonings i'm going to let this marinate for about i would say two hours and then i'll come back and show you what i do next what i did i separated the liquid from the turkey itself. Now in my pot, I have a little bit of oil. To that, I will add my tomato. Sorry about the noise. I'm trying to get the tomato paste out. And let me go ahead and grab a wooden bowl. Alright guys, I don't have someone to hold. I just want to make sure I get this video done for you all. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cook my tomato paste, kind of spread it around like this, and wait until it cooks for a couple of minutes. Cook for a couple of minutes, and if it looks like it's getting too dark, just take some of your liquid and just add it to it. No big deal. Okay. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to go ahead and add my turkey and come right back. I add my turkey back, and what I'm doing now is I'm giving it color. So at this point, I turn my stove down to a medium high because I don't want anything to burn. So what I'm doing is just moving my turkey neck around, making sure it's coated in that tomato paste. And I'm going to let it sit for about a couple of seconds. And then go ahead and stir it again. And if I need to add a little water to the bottom, 
I'll just add just a little and just continue the process until it gets a nice brown color. All right, guys, I gave it a uh, color. Now what I'm doing now is going to the side and just adding the liquid, the same liquid that we just cooked it in. I'm adding it back in like that. Sorry about that, guys. And I'm going to let it cook maybe for maybe like five more minutes. Then I'm going to come back and add my my onions and bell peppers to my sauce. I forgot to add just a little bit of butter. And this butter has no salt, the unsalted butter. And then I'm going to turn my stove off because I did have it cooking for the five minutes. I'm going to turn my stove off because we don't want these to get too soft. And I'm going to cover it and then I'll go ahead and show you how I plate it. Guys, here is the final product. Our turkey neck is looking absolutely fabulous. It is delicious. I mean, scrumptious. Until next time, guys, please like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Mmm.